Hola mi gente, te habla Mark Quiñones y Bobby Allende y somos Ocho y Más. Ocho y Más started out as a, uh, an idea that Angel Fernandez and Ricky Gonzalez and Bobby had and it was just trying to build a you know put a band together that could get some work in New York City and still have that salsa dura sound that we grew up on we like to treat musicians like in the same way that we like to be treated and so you know, that's our concept with, with Ocho y Mas. When you see us performing, it's, you can feel the energy that everybody's, you know, there for the same cause. The name Ocho y Mas was... It was the idea of having eight members. Ocho miembros en, en, en la orquesta, pero que va a sonar más de ocho muchachos en la, en la tarima. Todo el mundo que escucha la banda dice que suena más que ocho músicos allá arriba. So, tenemos un sonido bastante, yo creo, bastante potente por ocho gatitos. Bobby y Mark son dos instituciones eh, rítmica en el mundo nuestro de la salsa. Me da gusto compartir este proyecto con colegas que pues iniciaron la música, yo puedo decir que cuando yo iniciaba también hemos vivido las mejores épocas de nuestra música llamada salsa. I pitched the idea about doing a third CD to Mark. He wasn't too keen on the idea of doing a third album because of the fact that the other two didn't do as well to, to our knowledge, you know. And yeah, you can go with the, the sign of the times and you can do a single and you can promote a single and see what happens to, to continue. But I refuse to change our format and our faith. So, I, you know, I, I wanted to do it and I wanted to do an album with invited friends. Yeah. I'm really happy with this, what I've heard so far. I think this is a great record. It's really salsa and it's happy and, and, uh, and dynamic. I, I find a lot of elements there that, that make the real deal happen. So I congratulate you. I mean, you've been doing this for a while. So you, I, I met you both when you were like, what, nine years Seven old? Nine years old, yes. You know, yeah. so I'm very, very, very happy to see you both in health and, uh, and doing as well as you are. And I'm glad that I could be a part of your, of your dream and your, your effort as independence now. <laughs> Just to tell you, in all honesty, uh, all kidding aside, it's a good, good record. And it's danceable, and it's funny, and, it, and it's got a great, great group of people working. And with these two guys in the rhythm section, you know that, that you're gonna get the top of the, of, the, of the line. So, and then, thank you, thank you. I wanna thank you for inviting me and making me a part of it. I mean, you know you guys, I love you both, and I'll do anything I can for you guys anywhere and anytime. Es un honor para mí participar en este proyecto de ocho y más, sabes, es un proyecto de maestros, está haciendo un trabajo de música a la antigua, o sea, música profunda, y entonces eso me da mucho gusto, rescatar eso. Es un sueño hecho realidad compartir eh, de alguna manera, colaborar con ellos, ¿no? Porque son gente que yo admiro mucho de toda la vida. Yo te amaré siempre aunque me duela. The 
the people that have participated on this are friends, Ruben Blades, Tito Nieves, Jaila Maria Montpierre from Cuba, Alain Perez, Amaury Gutierrez, George Lamon. Jose Alberto's part of this as well. Pablo Alarcón and our singer from, from Ocho y Mas, Eddie Rosado, who's an, an amazing singer in New York City. When we're involved in a production, we'll ask anybody that's there, you know, what their opinion is. It's not always like, this is what it is and this is what it's gonna be. It's always a collaborative effort. I think in all the productions that we've done, it's been like that. We've been in this business so long and we've experienced music on all different levels, not just salsa, that, you know, we have all these, you know, crazy ideas in our <laughs> heads at times where, you know, it comes out in our music, man. <laughs> Mira, esta canción, Ay, qué buena está, del autor Joel Figuereo, de República Dominicana. Mira, de que me llegó esta canción, sentí, sentí que me llenó. Me gustó con el swing y le puse mi cosita, como nosotros hacemos los artistas. Y nada, tremendo tema. Esa mujer, ella pinta sus labios, termina, esto me vuelve loco. I think that music is always cyclical. Salsa was huge in the 70s and 80s. Took a little lull in the 80s and 90s due to merengue and bachata. You know, I think it's 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 gonna come back, but it's it's not gonna come back in the form that we experienced it. But it's still, you know, this music is not gonna die. I think that's where the passion comes in for the music. Is that it's got to be something you feel. So you go in there and you feel. You have to feel what you're doing. You have to love what you're doing and be confident with what you're doing. Otra ruta. Yes. In English, it's titled Otra, Otra ruta. ruta. Yes. And in Spanish, Otra, Otra ruta. ruta.